In this video, we are going to continue with our sign up flow and we're going to add Firebase to our project and log in with an existing user. Hey everyone, I'm Zeb Khan and I'm a front end engineer. In our previous video, we built our login form complete with validations. And in this video, we are going to add Firebase to our project and we're going to test the whole flow. So let's get started. So to start off, we need to create a new Firebase project. We will visit firebase.com console and we need to log in here as well with a Google account. Then we'll add a project, new project, and we'll enter our name as Angular sign up. We'll click continue. We're going to ignore this analytics and we're going to do create project. So it's going to take a bit of time. And when it does, it's going to have our dashboard ready. Then we go in authentication and we will select native providers email password and enable this then save it great it's all set up now that's all we need for now so let's get back to our angular app to add firebase to our app we'll use a very convenient library called angular fire we'll do ng add angular fire and we'll get a series of prompts which will help us set up firebase locally so the first thing it will ask would be to set up which feature here. So we only need authentication here. We're going to remove uh, deploy as well. And that's it for now. We're going to press enter. Then we're going to select the account that we want to use. I'm selecting my own account here. And then we'll set the project that we have already set up. And we're going to create a new app and we're going to name it Angular Sign Up. Great, we're all set up. And now if we go in our app module, we're going to see Firebase has already been imported. And when we go in our environment, you're going to see all of the Firebase configuration that's already been added. Great, that was quick. Now let's create a new service in our app called the authentication service with ng-generate services. We're going to put it in our services folder and authentication. This service will contain all our code related to login and sign up. So the first thing we'll do in our service is to include the Firebase auth class in our constructor. So we can use it in our methods. So let's create a new function here called login. This will take in an email and a password. Firebase provides a function for this called sign in with email and password, which takes in our auth class, sign in with email and password, this dot auth, it's going to take this dot auth, and our email and password. But this function returns a promise, and we'd like it to return an observable because we're using the same throughout our project. So we're going to add from, from RxJS to convert it, and then we're going to add return to it, it's that simple. Since we are here, uh, we will also add a logout function, and this would be returned from this dot auth dot sign out. Now we need to test the whole flow. Let's add the missing bits on our login form. Let's go to our login form now, and we're going to add an ng submit handler first in the form so that we can submit the form. ng submit and we're going to get a submit handler to it and the submit handler the first thing that we're going to do is to check whether the login form is valid or not if it's not valid then we're going to return it and we're not going to do anything because we don't want to proceed then we're going to uh, include our authentication service first in the constructor and we're going to then call the authentication service login method and of course we also want to destructure our login form first which is always a good practice the value and we're going to give it email and password and we're going to send the email and password in our function and we're going to subscribe to it now in the subscription we want uh, also to add the router to it so that we can route to our home page when it's logged in Great. Now this will work, but we don't have any way to notify the user yet. 
So let's add the ng-init hot toast library for quick success error and loading notifications. We'll then include the hot toast service in our constructor. Toast, hot toast service. Finally, we'll add a pipe to our login uh, function here. And we're going to add this dot toast dot observe. And in the object, we're going to add success. We're going to say it logged in successfully and in loading, it's loading, logging in and in error that there was an error. Great, time to test it out now. So now when I write my own email address and my password, it says there was an error. And when we look in our developer tools, it's going to say, okay, yes, the user not, was not found, which is understandable because we haven't added any user yet. So let's go in our Firebase console again in the users tab. Make sure that you are in the users tab and in the authentication section. And we're going to add a user consult at swaphan.com. And in the password, we're going to give consult. We need to add the user. Great, we have a new user here. So we're going to test it on this user now. And when we test it now, Yes, we've logged in successfully. Now, an issue here is that you can see that the login button remains the same as it is. We would like it to convert it to a logout button in case the user is logged in. The Firebase provides a really convenient observable for this purpose, so let's use it. So let's use that and add it to our service. Here we're going to add a current user observable. This would be auth state and take in this dot auth. Now, as you can see, it's either going to return an observable of a user or null in case it's not logged in. So let's go in our main app component where we have the login button and we're going to add a constructor here and include our authentication service, give it a public visibility. And we're going to um, add an ng container to our toolbar. Here we're going to check auth service dot current user we use the async pipe and give an alias of user. And uh, we're going to just copy this whole thing and just replace it with logout. We're going to add a handler called logout. And in the handler, we're going to just call this dot auth service dot logout. And on subscription, we're going to go back to our main landing page. Okay, yes, for that we need the router as well. Great. Next, we're going to go back in our template and we're going to enclose our login button inside of a template with an identifier of login button. And then we're going to add an else with login button. So when we are logged in, it will show the logout button, otherwise it's going to show the login button. So now let's test this out. We're going to log in. And when we log in here now, normally, we can see that we get this logout button and we go to the home page. Great, so one last thing, we want to add something to our home page. So we are going to include the service here as well. And we're going to add a user variable, which links to the current user. And here we're going to add an H1 tag. And in ngif, we're going to subscribe to the user variable and give an alias of user. And then we'll write welcome to our app and we'll use the user dot email. Great, so now it shows the currently logged in email address here. And when we log out, and when we log back in, it, it's going to show the email as the first thing. Great, awesome. So you see how simple it is to create a login flow with Firebase authentication. Now all we have left is to build up our sign up page so our users can sign up to our app as well. This we'll do in our next video. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.